Okay, guys, welcome back. First of all, I am not a Twins fan. I'm just playing with the game. Uh, go to Options on the main screen, then go to Data Utility, and then go into your uh, your your slot. I'm sorry, go into User Settings. Excuse me, excuse me. Go into User Settings, and then go into Sliders, and put your pitching speed all the way up, all the way up. It's towards the bottom. In fact, yeah, there you go. Your fastball pitch speed. And this is how we're going to practice. Um, this is how we're going to practice catching up to the fastball. And I have a couple of tips, but this is the part one. So you can see I'm saving it right there. Okay, then we will go over. Sorry about that. I'm, I'm just seeing what I'm doing there because I recorded this after. We'll go into custom practice. And then we're going to set up the teams we like. I didn't really even care too much. But I think since I put Twins on my favorites, it goes to the Twins automatically on the right side. On the left side, I didn't really care. I just want to see some really super fast fastballs. And I want to give you guys a couple of quick tips. And that was part one, was that you go into your, your uh, not your data utility, but where, wherever I went earlier. And then you go into sliders, the top left part, under options. And then the second part is... I'm going to show you once we start the game here, but I'm going to go through it step by step. But, but right now I'm in the pitcher mode and I actually need to adjust it to the batter's mode. Give me just a second. Okay, there we go. Wrong button there. Push create play and then you go over to that little box and then you go into batting mode and you can even push the, the players you want. But uh, anyway, it doesn't matter. All I really want to see is, you can see I push repeat play, so it goes again and again and again until you're comfortable. And, okay, now we're there. Now we're there. So all I want to concentrate is on my weak spot, which is the fastball. And what I'm going to do, it's very simple, is from where his hand is, not at the... Del not necessarily at the delivery point, which would be in a perfect world, but let's just say at his shoulder. From his shoulder to, to the very dot, to the center, draw an imaginary line. Once again, from his shoulder, or where the hand will release, up until, up until that dot, draw an imaginary line and let the ball come to you. If, if it's not, if, if the ball track, because... When you imagine it before it happens, then when it's off of that imaginary line, see that was on the, exactly on the imaginary line. So therefore I swung and I knew. But right now I'm drawing an imaginary line from the, ooh. See, I shouldn't have even moved the PCI. And in fact, in just a minute, you'll see I stopped bringing it down. I'm, I'm messing around and toying around and tinkering around. See right there again. I don't think this is on rookie mode, but I think it's on veteran, to tell you the truth. No, no, it's on fastest pitch speed. Yeah, this is this is definitely not rookie or anything. In fact, the PCI would be massive. But draw an imaginary line. See, I, I was drawing an imaginary line, and as soon as I start drawing that imaginary line, and I, like I said, I was just tinkering around with things, and... You'll see my hits really turn around. And I don't remember exactly when it happens here. But at some point, I just start drawing this imaginary line. And you'll see me not taking those kind of pitches and, and not struggling. But all of a sudden, I turn this horrible practice around. And that's why it's called practice. But it's I'll, I'll make it a quick anecdotal story, and then we'll go back to the pitching. Let's look at this pitch real quick. Yeah, I'm still not drawing the imaginary line. It is I used to be friends with uh, a world champion, um, and he really was a world champion. Uh, 2000, was it 9, 2007? No, no, 2006. Nine ball world champion. And he would say in order to play pool, you have to draw imaginary lines or use your imagination to draw lines. He, he would put it so simply, just draw lines. And... Uh, and with that advice, I was able to make uh, 
longer shots like lengthwise of the table and drawing lines in your imagination or visualizing things will really help you so um you know you don't want to spend a lot of time in this game swinging at pitches that uh, aren't going to make any sense so if somebody so throws some like let's say a little bit inside up heat inside down heat then there we go I think I'm starting to draw lines. I think this is where I start drawing lines in my imagination. Anyway, I made the video 12 hours earlier that I added the audio, and I'm very sorry about that. There we go. I am drawing lines in my imagination. I remember this part because I, I turn it around quite quickly, and that was a home run there on the second pitch where I draw lines in my imagination. So from his shoulder... Okay, so there's three solid contacts in a row with that. Just draw a line from the shoulder to that dot, to that dot in the center of the plate. And you can actually see when balls are going to be, uh, when he's throwing balls, because it'll be off of that imaginary line. I'm drawing the imaginary line right now, and I can tell you right there, just go down just a little bit. You can, you can see when it's going to be a ball because it's off of your imaginary line. Okay, so I'm drawing the imaginary line again from like approximately a shoulder or delivery point to that dot. And I think, isn't that like five solid contacts in a row with like two home runs? Okay, I think this is the sixth pitch. And there is a bad swing right there. The curveball is still getting me, which is which is part of the game, part of the learning. Okay, is that six out of the last seven pitches had solid contact? And what you want to create is line drives. That's what you really want to do in this game. You don't want to be launching and popping up. You you want to create line drives. Gets me with the curveball again. So is that what seven out of the last nine or six out of the last eight pitches? Okay, draw a line again. That is nice contact. So that's something like seven out of nine or eight out of the last ten I've gotten through drawing a line. Once again, his left shoulder to that dot. And I can see it was going a little bit down. And you really have to concentrate and just kind of go into this kind of zen moment. And, uh, and just kind of tune out the world for just a second. Think about And don't think of anything except seeing that ball don't think about anything don't think about which pitcher don't think about anything just think about that that line shouldn't have swung at that that that's just a that's just an error and i think i remember i think i lost my concentration like i blinked or something and he got me with the change up right there Nice contact. I think this is like something like nine out of the last 12 I got solid contact on. Um, or that might have said weak. Oh, no, no, it said, it said okay contact because there's a little feedback. And he gets me with the curveball again. Okay, guys. Let's look at the next pitch. Ah, a little bit in. I remember I saw that. I just couldn't, my, my, what do you call it? My muscle memory just couldn't go to that spot. There you go. A little bit early, but really good contact. There's your feedback on the left. It says that I squared up on it, which is what you want to square up on these pitches. There you go. Another hit right there. This is something like 13 out of the last 16 that I've that I've gotten at least contact on with those three, uh, three or four curves and change-ups okay weak contact right there gets me out not counting 100 percent, but something like 14 out of the last 18 there we go solid contact right there 15 out of the last 19 approximately and like i said two things is go to your sliders go into custom practice and Turn that slider all the way up, the fastest pitch speed. Oh, that that's a tough pitch. Okay, so I guess that's 15 out of the last 20. 
hit two home runs in there. Okay, late. Shouldn't have swung at that, but I did make contact with it. You do not want to foul tip these balls. There you go. And, ah, uh, see, he got me. He got me on the last couple pitches. Shouldn't have swung at that either. So, 15 out of the last 22. 15 out of the last 23. Catches me with off speed. Um, I want to end this on a good note. There you go. 16 out of 24. Anyway, that's my video. Hopefully you guys liked it. It's something I'm going to work on. 16 out of 25. It's something I'm going to work on because it's going to become memory to me to just draw lines. Nice contact, but lake swing. So that's a 17 out of the last 26, I believe. And let's finish this on an upper note. And I want to thank you guys for watching. Ooh, nice contact there. A little bit late swing, but more of a line drive. And it says right there, I squared up on it. This is 18 out of 26, I guess. Ah, man. Not good, not good. But it's okay. Okay, 18 out of 27, I guess. We won't count that one. Uh, if you don't hear solid wood contact or get close to a line drive, and a little bit inside, not sure I should be swinging at that. 18 out of the last 28, I'm not going to count that one. And let's see what happens here next. 19 out of the last 29. And did he catch that? Did he catch that? Okay, here's the replay. He catches it. He's about to throw it, and the guy running towards him celebrates. You can see as he catches it, he goes, celebrates. Take care.